Hey keto peeps! The warm weather is here and it's time for a cookout. And what's everybody's favorite side dish for a summer get together? Potato salad! Except wait a second, you don't eat potatoes and neither do I. What are we gonna do? Well, good news, because today on All Day I Dream About Food, we're making the best substitute for potato salad. We're making keto cauliflower salad. Like many potato salad recipes, this salad starts with hard boiled eggs. So I have three hard boiled eggs here that I did this morning and I am going to crack and chop two of them. Let's see how well I hard boiled my eggs. See if we can get the shell off nicely. Ooh, oh wow, look at that. Look at that, it's just peeling off easy peasy. So there's one. Ooh, this one has a harder shell. Okay, we're gonna chop these guys up. Once you've got those all nicely chopped up, you can just transfer them to a nice big bowl where you're gonna mix everything. You can buy a head of cauliflower and chop it into florets and steam it yourself and you want it till it's fork tender. Or you can buy a bag of frozen cauliflower florets and if you just let them thaw, they become the perfect consistency for the salad. So that's what I did today. I got a 16 ounce pack of frozen cauliflower. It's been thawing and draining for an hour or two. And now all I wanna do is maybe cut it into slightly smaller pieces. You want them to be bite-sized like you would use in a potato salad. And I'm only really cutting up the larger florets here. A lot of them are already bite-sized and perfect for use. And once you've got them to the size that you like, you just wanna transfer them all to the bowl. Now we're gonna add some extra ingredients for crunch and flavor. So I have two ribs of celery, which we've chopped up here, and I'm adding six slices of chopped cooked bacon, and I'm gonna hold a little back for the top of the salad. And I have two green onions here that we've chopped up, and by we, I mean me and my husband. <laughs> And then we're just going to stir that all in nicely until well combined. So now we're gonna add some dressing ingredients. So I have half a cup of avocado oil mayonnaise here, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. We're gonna squeeze about one tablespoon of lemon juice into it. And for a bit of color, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of paprika. And then you just wanna stir everything in until it's all nicely mixed. And then you just add salt and pepper. Yummy. And then you just add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna start with about half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Okay, we'll give that a taste. Oh, a little more salt, but I think it's really good. Now, when it comes to cauliflower salad, your presentation is important. So you want to grab yourself a nice serving dish and Transfer your cauliflower salad to the dish, piling it up all nicely. Now we take our final hard boiled egg and we peel it and you just wanna slice this thinly. And you wanna lay your slices nicely on top. Then you wanna take the remaining crumbled bacon and sprinkle it over as well. And for a little color, you can put some chives on, you can put some chopped parsley. We're gonna take the little green ends of our green onion and just slice those thinly. Oh, that's looking beautiful. And one final thing, we're gonna take some paprika and just lightly sprinkle it over the whole salad. Ta-da! And we're done. It's ready to eat. So let's take a bite. Get some bacon in there. Mmm. I'm not sure I have a cauliflower salad dance, but I'm gonna try. This stuff is delicious, and though I can't promise you it will taste exactly like potato salad, it's a wonderful substitute. This is a keto side dish you can be proud to bring to any get together. For this delicious keto recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.